like, well, why did I use that die? Or why did I um, use those particular settings on the PCR machine? So in my last video, I was talking about Viva Prep and finding mistakes in my thesis and just getting ready for the Viva. And this video is about the run up to the Viva and immediately afterwards. So my Viva was on the 9th of September and our story begins on the 8th of September. So let's have a look, shall we? It is my Viva tomorrow and I'm feeling okay at the moment. Um, have moments of then moments of no, it's fine. Um, so yeah, I am gonna do some final prep. I have to do a summary presentation, which I didn't find out about until yesterday. Um, so I'm just using a conference presentation. Um, which is good actually. I think slides will help me kind of get into summarising the project because it's really hard to do without visual aids. Like it's three and a half years worth of work and believe me, there's a lot. Um, so yeah, visual aids will really help me and I think will help my internal examiner because they're not from a platelet background. They're from a cell biology background, which is great, but they're not from a platelet background. So in terms of giving context it probably is better to have some visual aids i do have a lot of visual aids in my thesis um but i think i think the whole point of giving your project summary is to just calm yourself a little bit so you've like you have directed that first like the first five ten minutes of the viva and i think it's probably meant to settle you so to speak um so yeah, I just can't shake the feeling that I've missed something really fundamental, which I know I haven't because my supervisor wouldn't have let me submit otherwise. Um, and it's not meant to be perfect, really isn't perfect, but you know, I've done my best and that's all you can do, isn't it? Um, but yeah. I'm going to run through stuff today. I'm going to do my nails. Um, I'm just going to try and take it easy. Um, I just go through my notes. I've got like notes of stuff, which I'm probably not even going to get asked, but you know, when you're just like, well, why did I use that dye? Or why did I um, use those particular settings on the PCR machine and blah, blah, blah. Um, because you don't always put that in. Um, yeah, I've gone a bit chaotic. I was asking a lot of questions to one of my colleagues um, the other day and I like mixed up my terminology and he's like it's this and I was like oh my god have I written the wrong thing and I checked my thesis and I haven't I like I've written the right thing but I just in that moment forgot uh, yeah it'll be fine um, I'm just having a still a bit anxious but I know it'll be fine, so I'm a bit annoyed at myself for feeling like so, you know, weird about it because uh, I've made it this far <laughs> and I do actually believe in the work. I feel like the work is good. Um, granted, there are a lot of mistakes in the thesis, like grammatical errors, missing out half a sentence, um, figure inserting twice in my text, references not um formatted correctly and not putting the right statistical test in my captions uh so yeah there's a lot of that and that's fine but i'd rather have those mistakes than science mistakes i like alluded to all of this in my previous video but it still feels the same so yeah but i am proud of the work i'm proud of everything that i've achieved in the last three and a bit years um, because it has been hard, a PhD is hard, um, if it was easy everyone would do it, um, as they say, but I feel like it's been made significantly harder given the pandemic, um, so I think I managed to rectify a lot of it upon my return and when we were able to resume 
a lot of things like blood taking and all of those kind of things so I think I've managed to rectify it and I think I've done a hell of a lot considering the restrictions because there were a lot of lab restrictions um and I did a lot of it myself as well which was tiring um but it's good to do those things yourself so you know exactly what's happened um I did also ask for help though I'm not I'm not too much of a control freak because some days were just too much for me to handle on my own but yeah I am proud I am happy with it I think it's just this yeah this you know unnerving feeling about doing the viber just remembered I have a meeting as well at half nine um which is a platelet society meeting which is a-okay um catching up with all the platelet society early career people um to try and plan what we're going to be doing in the future with stuff which is cool uh we kind of had summer off so i'm looking forward to that meeting um it's essentially just like catching up with my mates which is nice um but before that i'm going to practice my summary presentation meeting got cancelled um so I did my nails <laughs> procrastinating out I do need to do oh sorry baby just hit her in the face um I need to uh do some actual viber prep now I've practiced my presentation I need to go through my notes um and get in the get in the zone but nails are done and yes they are red because my project is in blood <laughs> I don't care. It makes me happy and I feel like I have my shit together when my nails are done. So hopefully that energy will carry me through tomorrow. I'm a dildo, honey. It's a facilitator, that's all. I've given up um, with Viber Prep. I've done my presentation, but I was getting a bit anxious and it's 20 past three and I'm just watching Grace and Frankie. I might do another like flick through of my notes, um, but I don't think I know or can know anymore <laughs> in the sense that like, if it's not in my brain today, it's probably not gonna be in my brain tomorrow. So yeah. Can we just appreciate this little cutie? She won't sleep in a bed, but she will sleep on a box. A, bo a box that's broken, might I add, which will probably collapse at some point. But she's so cute! I feel like I just don't know how to relax. Is that like a normal thing? Like, the antsiness is unreal. Um, I feel like I can't sit still or concentrate on anything and I can check my phone all the time for like what? What's what's gonna help me there? Um but yeah I just wanted to know. <sighs> I know it's not like a quiz but it just is a bit scary. <sighs> and I know it's not an exam but feels like it. It is eight o'clock in the morning. I feel weird, um, yeah, I feel weird, I feel antsy, I don't really know what to do with myself. But we're gonna try and get ready, woo! I'm probably gonna do that thing where you're ready like four hours earlier than you need to be and then you're just like, what do I do? <laughs> I'm gonna go through my presentation and just flip through my notes and then I'm gonna chill. Um, I'm gonna get an Uber to work 
um, and try to eat something before. I don't know. I feel like I will feel ill. Um, I just need to get through the first 15 minutes and then the adrenaline will wear off and we'll all be chill. Like, it's fine. You know, I've done many exams in my life. I've done a driving test. You know, all of these things. I'm done. I'm done it. And, you know, plenty of people do PhDs. <laughs> so, yeah, that's where I'm at. I don't need a crown to know that I'm a queen. Well, I'm ready too early. It's half past nine and I'm dressed and ready and don't really know what to do with myself. And I just feel weird. Ooh. I just want it done. Why does it have to be in the afternoon? If it was like in an hour, I'd be happy with that. But now I'm just waiting. You know what I mean? But I look cute though. These are my shoe options. I will decide once, once we're ready to roll. Um, ooh, got a wave of anxiousness then. It's all good. I have practiced my presentation. <laughs> I have listened to brown noise. I have put Lizzo on and it is still so long to wait. It's 10 past 10, I don't know what to do with myself. Things that calm me, watching the 73 questions from Vogue on YouTube. <laughs> um, I've currently watched four of these videos and I'm about to watch a fifth. Um, yeah. Oh, my examiner's train is delayed. Um, so I'm meeting my supervisor before and he's going to walk me up, which is really sweet, actually, and very nice. Um, but yeah. Off we go. Thesis in tow. Bag, jacket, Uber ordered. <sighs> Let's do this. So I didn't film immediately after the Viva, but I do have a picture. I have a couple of pictures that I will insert. Um, and as you can imagine or suspect, I passed my PhD Viva with minor corrections. So I was very, very, very happy about that. And I just was in a bubble and on a high, so I didn't really film anything. But in terms of the Viva itself, it was absolutely fine. And I knew that it would be, but I still couldn't shake this nervousness feeling. And to be honest with you, I think that was more the fear of the unknown, having never gone through anything like it before it's really hard to kind of prepare yourself for something like that. In the end, it was just a conversation and it went on for four hours, pretty much because I wouldn't shut up. <laughs> I was having too much of a good time. Um, and we had some really interesting discussions that really made me feel good about the work and got me thinking about things that I hadn't thought about and, and how I can progress the work further in the future. So it was a really positive experience and despite feeling incredibly nervous right before um it was it was absolutely fine and a really enjoyable process and my examiners were fantastic it was like just a great afternoon chatting about my work so yeah really really happy about that yeah so overall a really positive experience and a lot of the corrections that they pointed out were ones that i kind of knew already um, and then there were some others that um, were really good suggestions just to make it read better and um, give a little bit more context about certain things. So, yeah.
yeah, a really, really positive experience. So thank you so much for following on on this journey. Like it, it, I can't believe it's coming like right, like to the end, to the close of this chapter. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's weird. It still hasn't really sunk in. I feel like you work so hard towards this goal, and um, when it happens, you're kind of like what? Um, but I am incredibly proud of myself for everything I've done within my PhD. Like. It was not easy, but overall I had a really positive experience despite doing majority of my PhD during the pandemic. Yeah, like I said, generally speaking, it was a really positive experience and challenging, very challenging. And I'm definitely not the same person that I was when I started, but I think that's a good thing. Like, I'm really, really happy with everything that I've done. But thank you so much for watching and if you don't subscribe already then please do i'd really appreciate it and if you like this video then please give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one bye